Hello everybody, uh, this is Amitabha, your guide to Unit 3 of Skill Announcement courses uh, of North Bengal University. And this is the second session of the three sessions. Uh, in this session, I'm going to demonstrate uh, that device drivers, utility, utility programs, BIOS, and language processors. So let's get started. First, uh, device drivers. When you get a peripheral devices such as printer, keyboard, or modem, the device comes together with the driver CD, which needs to be installed before the device starts working. As soon as we install the driver software into the computer, it detects and identifies the peripheral device and we became able to control it. A device driver is the piece of software that allows your computer's operating system to communicate with the hardware device the driver is written for. Generally, a driver communication with the device through the computer bus which connects the device with the computer. Device driver depends upon the operating system's instruction to access the device and performing the particular action. After the action, they also show their relation by delivering output or message from hardware device to the operating system. Card reader, controller, modem, network card, sound card, printer, video, USB device, RAM, speaker, etc. need device driver to operate. For example, a printer driver tells the printer which format to print after getting instruction from the waste. Similarly, a sound driver card is there because uh, the ones and zeros data of an mp3 file is converted to audio signal and you can enjoy the music. For your uh, knowledge, um, I must say uh, nowadays the operating systems are uh, coming in such a way that uh, they are uh, coming with some default drivers uh, which uh, uh, can uh, communicate with that hardware peripherals easily. So there you don't need to install that specific uh, device driver uh, to communicate with. Uh, but if you want, you can install it to take the best from it. Here you can uh, see a screenshot image of device, device manager uh, from a, a computer system where you can check the driver status uh, over there. Uh, the driver uh, for your gig drive, display adapters, formers, batteries, audio inputs and outputs, etc from where you can uninstall the already installed driver or update a uh, existing driver or modify the driver or reinstall the driver uh, from that. So those are the device driver and how we can communicate with the hardware device by using that device driver. Okay, now uh, it's utility software. Application software that assist the system software in doing their works is called utility software. Thus, utility software is actually a 
cross between the system software and the application software. Software utilities are specially designed to help the end user manage and tune the computer software or hardware and perform a single task at a time. Some examples of uh, utility softwares are such as uh, antivirus software, uh, disk management uh, tools, disk cleanup tools, uh, disk fragmentation, defragmentation tools, backup tools, recovery tools, Windows Media Player, uh, uh, iTunes Messenger, uh, etc. Uh, those uh, sometimes comes in a bundle with operating systems uh, itself. So that's why those are known as uh, utility software and using which we <coughs> perform some specific uh, tasks. Um, Now comes BIOS. The basic input output system, the full form of BIOS, it is also known as the system BIOS, ROM BIOS, or PC BIOS, is a de facto standard defining a firmware interface. The fundamental purpose of the BIOS are to initialize and test the system hardware components and to load a bootloader or an operating system from a mass memory device. And now, language processor. The language processor as discussed earlier, an important function of the system software uh, is to convert all the user instructions into machine language when we talk about human machine interactions language are often of three types that machine level language this language is nothing but a string of zeros and ones uh, that the machines can understand the program known as machine code which is directly understood by the computer and converted into uh, that electrical signals to run uh, in the computer. It is completely machine dependent and uh, an instruction given in the machine level languages has uh, basically two parts that is op code that operational code and operand that is address oblique location. Here in the graphical presentation, I have uh, elaborated all the uh, language processor and uh, its uh, languages, the high level language, uh, low level language, and <coughs> their interaction. Advantage, basic advantage of high level uh, of machine level languages are machine level language is highly suited for computer with limited memory and extensively used in the first generation computers. Machine languages is considerably more difficult and efficiently used. It takes shorter time for execution as compared to those of other programs. It doesn't need translation as the programs that are written in the machine level language can be understood directly by the computer. Machine language is used to develop system software crucial to a computer system. This language is machine independent. And disadvantage? All instructions written in the form of binary and numerical numbers, which is difficult to understand by the end user and leads to error. If an error occurs and found each and every steps after that have to be 
rewritten reuse of previously written programs in machine level language cannot be performed without changing the address of the instructions and data machine level language is a challenging and complex programming language to learn memorize and execute and then comes the assembly level languages assembly level language is a low level programming language that allows the user to write programs using letter words and symbols called mnemonics instead of the binary digit used in the machine level language see the machine level language and assembly language both are the low level language but machine level language uses zeros and ones those binary and the assembly level language uses some low level letters and words and symbols for example the word read can be defined to mean the computer has to retrieve data from the memory the computer instruction will also tell the memory address assembly level language is machine independent see for example in the uh, machine level assembly language we have written lda181 that is translated using an assembler ad add93 at 93 and then sto185 advantages of assembly level languages error can be easily tracked and solved rather than it it was harder in the machine level language as it is not necessary to keep track of the memory location assembly level language is easy to modify it can perform and compile more complex tasks by writing less code what can achieve the desired result as those are low level languages disadvantage what is the disadvantage of assembly language assembly level language is machine dependent language needs more memory to run more extensive programs than codes that's why in a small size computer such program cannot be executed the programmer needs knowledge of regarding hardware before coding it is more likely to be error prone okay now comes high level language the language that uses english like statement and is completely independent of machines is known as high level language program written in this level of language using high level language are easily easy to create read and understand high level language has to be converted to its equivalent machine level language or machine executable program on computer uh, so that it can be understand by the hardware so some uh, of the high level language are c c++ java fortran qbc pascal etc the basic advantage of high level language is easy to write debug and maintain thus it is programmer friendly it is machine independent language so it is not that machine specific less error prone easy to find and debug error high level programming results in a better programming productivity but what are the disadvantages it take additional translation times to translate the source to machine understandable code that machine code high level languages are complete 
comparatively slower than the low level programs compared to low level programs they are generally less memory efficient cannot communicate directly with hardware in the case of low level language they can directly communicate with the hardware program written in high level programming language like java c++ is called source code set of instruction in machine readable form is called object code or machine code system software that converts source code to machine code are is called language processor these are the there are three types of language processor uh, they are the first one is the assembler an assembler is a system program that used for translating an assembly language program into a machine understandable code uh, for example you can say macro assembler or turbo assembler those are the example of assembly level those are the assembly level language processor compiler a compli compiler is a system program that translates the instruction of a high level language into machine code it reads the entire program first and check if errors and then translate it into the machine code for example c++ so keep in your mind that it first translate reads the entire program entire program is read in by is uh, read by the uh, uh, read by the compiler and if it find error suppose it found error in number 5 number 9 and number 18 line so it first read them and then show the error that this number of line this number of line and this number of line has error so you should fix it before proceed and if you then it comes the interpreter an interpreter is a system program that translate the instruction of a high level language into the low level language or machine understandable language but it consider one statement at a time and it convert it to machine level language by executing it immediately that means that uh, if it found error in a line it falls over there and it never check the next line or next line after that uh, if the error is fixed so the basic difference between the interpreter and compiler is that the interpreter uh, interprets line by line while the compiler compiles the entire process and show the error some example of that interpreter is the basic language which interpret line by line so telling this i'm just uh, summing up the uh, session and in this session we have gone through uh, the various uh, uh, various uh, type of application system softwares uh, such as utility software device, device driver and uh, language processor and bios uh, and their advantages and disadvantages and their example so uh, go through all the contents and if you found any difficulties just uh, contact me later on my mail id is somitabo@nbu.ac.in and thanks for your uh, patience and have a good day